Crispy Watts. Bobby is one of the early adopters of the CGY 750 gyro from Fataba. Uh, well, Bobby, tell us a little bit about the 750. Uh, you know what what you found that you like about it. Maybe what's different than than some of the other uh, fly barless systems out there. Yeah, the 750 that we've been playing around with in the past few months is just awesome. Um, it's pretty much just plug and play. All the basic settings. You hardly ever have to go into any expert menus or fool with any mixing. Everything's done internally. No need to bring a laptop to the field. No need to bring a separate programmer. Everything's done directly in the unit. And as you can see here, it works really nicely with the new receiver from Futaba, the uh, R6203. Um, it just, it's nice and small. This is the exact same setup that I would use on a 90 here. So when I use the 750 with this receiver, I would have my 750 box right here. Then you can see my sensor right here. And then the receiver on this side. And this is identical to something I'd have even on a big helicopter. Um, the 750 just flies phenomenally. I feel like it's taken my flying to a, a new level. I'm doing things now, especially on the bigger ones where I, I, I could have never done it before. Uh, it feels very similar to a fly bar, which is nice for a guy like me because I've flown on the fly bar for the past six, seven years, and then now, you know, we got to change how everything feels. We didn't like that. So it flies very much like a fly bar, but gives you all the advantages of fly bar. So much less complicated head setup, um, more stable and hovering better tracking in forward flight, quicker maneuvers, more power. I mean, the, the advantages are just endless pretty much. Um, the last really cool thing uh, about this is that when it came time to set this up, I put this on 450 mode, um, typed in my flight number four, that's how I like it to feel, and that's it, done. I didn't have to do any tweaking, no separate secret menus or anything, nothing. Um, and it feels exactly like my 700 does. So overall, awesome unit great little thing I think everybody's really gonna like it especially guys uh, who want to get into fly bar list for the first time or maybe I'm sure very easy to set up feels very natural nothing crazy so I definitely uh, check it out if you guys can hey you mentioned uh, going into the 450 mode now so does the uh, 750 have uh, different size helicopters do you choose within yes. the unit is that what yes. it is in the unit uh, I believe there's three different sizes that you can select there's a 450 mode and 500 600 and 700 and larger than 700 so maybe for scale or large industrial applications or something um, but pretty much we've already programmed um, in the unit how everything should roughly feel for a 450 and 500 600 700 and the larger ones so it's very close uh, the only things that you really need to set to your preference is the size of the helicopter and it gives you a uh, flight mode and it gives you five different numbers one through five Five being the most aggressive and fasted, and one being very docile and slow. Um, I'm flying four right now, which is pretty close to the full extreme. You can put a little bit, bit of expo in there, but the setup is so good. Awesome. Very good. I noticed you guys doing some stuff on the ground basically last night, uh, TikToks and everything else that I had really never seen that low. I mean, do you attribute that to some of the 750? I um, mean, I mean, you guys have mad pilot skills, but um, I mean, I, I, I wish I could fly this stuff like the, the big stuff. But yeah. The big stuff, especially, it's just everything feels so natural, and it, it's always there. Um, you know, it, there's there's nothing bad about it. I mean, it it, it's really taken everything to a whole new level, especially like auto rotations now. I can do things in an auto rotation that I could never do before. I mean, I can almost go up, barely blade stop it, and then do like a pure riding foot in the auto rotation. And most of that's fly barless, but the Futaba unit doesn't wake out under a low head speed or anything. It's just it's just very stable. It just does. Awesome. I'm, I'm surprised Futaba. I'm, I'm very shocked Futaba nailed it on the first try. And I, I found it so hard to believe, but they did it. They really did it. Awesome. Bobby, thanks for your time. Hey, Thank great you. to see you here at E-Fest and uh, awesome performance last night. All right. Well, I'm here with Kyle Stacy now. Kyle, you had some uh, kind of exciting stuff happen to you last night. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we had the E-Fest Heli Smackdown last night, and in the Smackdown, I flew the T-Rex 450 Pro with the new CGY 750. How'd you do? Uh, I got first place. All right. Yeah. Way to go. Thank how you. many uh, How many Smackdowns have you been in now here at E-Fest? Uh, I think four. 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 And it's the first time you won it? Second. Second time, all right. Second time. And you came away with a big uh, foam check, as I recall. Yeah, I did. Uh, all right. Well, hey, tell us about the uh, the uh, CG uh, Y750 from Fataba. Um, I know you are one of the four guys in the U.S. that's been doing some of the R&D work on it for us. Right. And uh, so what's your experience been? Um, you know, uh, how do you like it compared to other fly barless systems? Um, 
as I recall, you're one of the guys that really wasn't a real fond of fly barless systems in the right. past. So, uh, you know, what what do you like about the 750 maybe that's allowing you to fly fly barless now? Um, as soon as I got the 750, my first thought was, wow, this thing is small. Uh, pulled that out of the box. It's smaller than the um, GUI 520, as you can see here. Um, I talked to Bobby on the way home from getting it, and he said it, it's amazing. I was so happy to try it out. Went out to the field the next day and nothing but positive results. It was amazing. I was so happy with it. I probably did 20, 30 flights in one day with it. That's how happy I was. Wow. Um, it's revolutionary. I've flown pretty much all the fly brother systems out there, and that one felt kind of like computerized, never really felt connected. But this one is by far the best one. Uh, I feel it's just like a fly bar, but has all the good fly barless tendencies. Like it tracks amazing. The head's a lot more simple, so when you dump it in, um, there's a lot less parts to fix. Just um, use a lot, utilizing new S-Bus systems, so you got all your wiring uh, cleaned up. It's really just a great unit. We're really happy with it. Nothing but positive results. Awesome. So, are, is there any maneuvers that maybe you're finding are easier to do with this system as compared to like when you're running flybard and stuff like that, or you um, know, what's it, what's it really doing for you? I guess. Oh, uh, it really speeds it up. A flybar, you kind of have to have the rate slower. With this, you can really crank it up and get it moving. Um, with other flybarless systems, you really can't. Pirouetting maneuvers are kind of tricky. Okay. It always tries to fall out. But with this, I've done pretty much everything I can think of pirouetting, and it does tracks right through it. No, no issues. No falling out. Nothing I wouldn't expect it to do. It's just very natural feeling. Great, great. Just great to see you doing so well with it. And uh, Thank you. are you going to be running it at XFC this year? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And what model are you going to fly there? Do you know yet? Or not sure. Um, okay. I'm probably guessing the T-Rex 700D. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Very good. Hey, Kyle, congratulations on uh, your win last night. Thank uh, you. Well deserved. I watched that flight and it was incredible. Oh, that last part of the flight was awesome. <laughs> I really loved it. Thank you. Thanks for being here and no good problem. luck for the rest of the summer. Thanks. You bet. All right, guys. Hey, uh, we're here with Matt Votos now. And uh, Matt, uh, also one of the early adopters of the CGY 750. Uh, you've been doing a lot, all the R&D work here in the States. Uh, you, uh, Bobby Watts, Kyle Stacy, and Brian Bremer. Matt, tell us uh, what you found you know, with the 750, what you like about it, maybe what you don't like, uh, unique stuff compared to other systems. Just a little bit about that. Yeah, well I can tell you, as soon as I bolted on the, uh, the 750, it felt completely unlike any fly barless system I've ever flown. Uh, typically a fly barless system does, has weird characteristics, whether it's forward flight, uh, whether you get a porpoising motion, mm -hmm. or uh, you know whether it pitches up on you or there's always there's always been something strange about it that I just I couldn't accept uh, and I've been flying fly barless since about 2006 and it's greatly improved since then but I think Fataba has taken that last leap to really make it feel like it should uh, a lot of people spend a lot of time tuning their fly bar machines to fly a particular way mm -hmm. and uh, you know for me I could never get that out of a fly barless system uh, okay, until now you know, the CGY 750 has definitely uh, made me a believer in fly barless again. I've, I've given up on fly barless probably two or three times over the past years, and, and you know, every helicopter I have now is fly barless. Um, how about setup on it? Is it pretty complicated setup, or very easy? Really very easy. No laptops needed. Go to the field. Make sure you have your little little uh, Futaba, uh, little black screwdriver uh -huh. wheel, and. Uh, and that's it, really. That's all you need. No, uh, no computer or anything. No computer. You can program uh, the gains directly from the radio. All right. Um, you know, if you want to adjust your 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 aileron, elevator, pitch, you can do it right from the unit. So yeah, very easy to program. Great. Now, as I understand, it's got two two menus, basic and expert menu. Correct. Uh, are you getting into the expert side of it all, or do you have to mess uh, with that? Very little. You know, you really don't need to, unless you're, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a tweaker. You know, mm -hmm. I, I really like to get into the details of things. So, you know, I like to check out all the menus and see what right. they're all about. Right. But for the, if you're the beginner, novice, you know, even the intermediate, the basic okay. menu is, is perfect. Now, I think this is probably going to be the uh, one thing that everybody starts asking, you know, what flight mode do you fly in? I can see this down the road, you know, right, well, I'm right. a five, I'm a three. So I'll ask the question, what flight mode are you running on yours? Yeah. On my uh, on my N5, I'm a five. Okay. On the Rave, I'm somewhere between a three and a four. I was, okay. was kind of bouncing back All right. in between those two for this event. So, All right. Yep. I think it's going to depend on the helicopter sure, sure. and the personal preference. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's one of the neat things about the 750 is that you have these kind of pre-programmed flight modes and 
It really, it, it defaults to three, which is, and everybody has said that's a good starting point for everybody, and you either go up or down from there, and uh, right. it really allows you to customize it, or actually use those default flight modes, and then you can tweak it, like you said, as you want to really dial it in the way you want it to be. So. Exactly, so you can select, uh, you know, say you're an uh, intermediate pilot, you can select three, and then you can go in and maybe increase the expo a little bit, and, and kind of customize right. that three to the way you want it. Awesome. So the three is the general, and then, you know, go in there and tweak a little bit more if you'd like. All right. Yep. Now, what do you, how do you think the settings work? Um, you know, Bobby mentioned earlier about how it's got the three different settings for the different size helicopters. Do you, do you feel like those work out pretty well? And yeah, yeah, definitely. It's been plug and play. You know, select 600, 700, or 450, 550, and you know, fly it. The only things I've really had to play with are gains, and you know, that's normal. You raise the gain, lower the gain, and, and sometimes that's also a feel thing. Sure, sure. Uh, if gain's too high, it's wiggling a little bit, lower it, and, and go fly. Great. Yep. Any other final observations about the 750? That's about it. I, okay. I know the first time I flew it, I had goosebumps. Yeah. You know, like I said, I've been uh, challenged with fly bars. I really wanted it to work because I saw the benefits of uh, the forward flight speed, the increased flight time, the you know the the, the cooler packs. You know, it, there, there's a benefit for benefit for every single aspect sure. of uh, the hobby, whether it's nitro or electric, and uh, it's uh, it's definitely the way of the future. Right. Yeah. Right. Going to see you at XSC this year, or are you really retired? Uh, well. <laughs> My plan is to come back maybe in 2012. I okay. really wanted to go off and design a model that I felt I could compete with. Right. I've always felt a like I, you know, I just wanted something a little bit better to compete with. Mm -hmm. So now I have that model. It's a prototype. Hopefully 2012 come back and uh, do the Michael Jordan thing for there a year. There you go. So, All yeah. right. Yeah. Hey Matt, great to see you. Uh, great flights last night in the uh, in the SmackDown. Thank you. And. Uh, Hey, we'll look forward to seeing you in 2012 at XFC for sure. Appreciate it. All Thank right. you. Thanks.